Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and in today's video, I am going to show you my top 10 pieces that I think will make your habitats look better. Now, clearly, this is just my personal opinion, and you may have a completely different preference or opinion about what kind of pieces you like the most and what you think will make your habitats look better. So feel free to share your favorites in the comments down below. All examples that will be shown during this video are my own habitats all made in videos for my youtube channel so if you like to know what video belongs to a certain build then please drop me a comment including a timestamp in the description of this video so i can tell you exactly where to find more of this specific build and if you after seeing this video notice you don't have a specific planet zoo pack yet and would like to get it our channel is sponsored by instant gaming and via their website you can find all planet zoo packs and many other of your most favorite games Games with a really great discount and by buying via their website you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel i will make sure to put a link to their website in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it now without further talking let's go and jump into my top 10 most favorite pieces to make any habitat look better now the Twilight Pack only launched like a week ago when recording this video, so obviously I did not have that much time to really play around with all the pieces of this pack, but I did want to put like these stalactite pieces in this top 10, because especially for making caves and possibly also rocky shelters for your animals, I think these pieces will be just perfect to decorate them with. Also like when rotating the two smaller pieces upside down with the great texture they have, and like the ability to recolor them they become super useful in lots of ways now this bat's cave is like the only thing yet that i made with these pieces but you can see what a cool look you can achieve when almost only using these stalactite pieces of the twilight pack so yeah i definitely think these guys deserve to be in the top 10 even though i haven't used them that much i think they are going to be very useful in my future builds so these are the Drin Grass and Apple Tree pieces that are both part of the base game. I think especially for more desert or grassland type of habitats, the Drin Grass pieces come in super useful to give a more natural look to your habitat. And the apple trees can, in my opinion, pretty much be used in any biome. Like they look super nice as normal bushes, but also like lowered into the ground. They can give a really nice little plant vibe. And in general, they can give like a more dense feeling to your shrubs areas in your habitats without reducing the traversable area which is super handy as well so yeah the drin grass and apple trees on number nine of our top 10 Now these roots at number 8 of our top 10 are from the base game if I'm correct and they are one of those pieces I sometimes just completely forget about that we have them when I'm building my habitat but they can give such a natural look to your habitat and your walls and temple walls and also to the look of your underwater viewing galleries of your habitat. Like, but be careful though when using these roots because they can reduce the traversable area of certain animals if they are not like sunken low enough into the ground for example so yeah that is definitely something to keep in mind but you can do really fun things with these incredible roots
So at number seven are these row pieces. Now when building habitats with climbing frames or when you build like your own custom fences maybe, these pieces of rope of the South America pack can definitely give that extra touch to your climbing frames or fences. The only thing to keep in mind is that they can interfere with your climbing frame path. So keep this in mind, especially when playing career or franchise mode when using these row pieces because your animals might not be able to use everything of your climbing frame anymore so that is the only downside of these row pieces but yeah in, in sandbox mode you can just eat your heart out and use as many row pieces as you want obviously so at number six, we have this little temple piece. Now, while I obviously do love the whole temple piece set of the South American pack, I don't find all these temple pieces that versatile when it comes down to any theme. So therefore, I won't be including all the pieces in this top 10, even though you can really make great things with them when going for like a tropical theme, for example. But this little piece of the temple theme, which is recolorable, can make a great difference for a different vibe in your habitat. Especially when turning this rotation option on, it is super easy to use them. You can either use it all by itself, for example, for edges of your terrain or like on the edges of your path or in combination with the full aquatic rocks just to give more of like this sharper rocky vibe to it. It definitely works super well in my opinion for decorating your habitat. So definitely one of my most favorite pieces of the South America pack and the temple wall set. So in the aquatic pack, you will find the aquatic faux tree trunk and branch pieces, which are all recolorable. Like these pieces are definitely part of my most favorite pieces of the game because they can really help you give that extra touch to your habitat, viewing galleries, reptile houses, nocturnal houses, and also of course your exhibits. Uh, now they are actually also climbable, but I don't really think that I have ever used them with that purpose when building a habitat, but obviously you can also use it as some kind of extra a climbing frame or something like that I guess but I mostly like to use them as like a backside wall definitely also when you rotate like the bigger trunk for example or like just a wall section next to a path or really go crazy in front of like exhibits or other viewing galleries to create this kind of forest or jungle feeling which they are just really perfect for to use and they look just absolutely incredible so definitely one of my most favorite pieces to decorate your habitat with. So at number four, you will find the down palm and ponytail palm. Now these two small trees are so handy, especially for like smaller habitats or smaller areas to fill in. Like the down palm tree is included in the Africa pack and the ponytail palm is part of the aquatic pack. Both are just really beautiful plants and useful as either like just a tree size in a habitat, but also when you sink them down partly into the ground to make more of like like a shrubs or a bush feeling or even like a grass feeling like the ponytail palm gets like this messy long grass feeling to it when you sink it into the ground and is for example like super nice to combine it with like the sunken elephant grass which is part of the base game if I'm correct so especially since we don't have like that many smaller trees in the game, like if you do not include the seedlings that is, these two smaller trees come in super handy for decorating your habitats and your zoos. Definitely one of my most favorite pieces. So at number three, if you feel like your habitat looks a little bit too clean, then try adding these fantastic natural habitat branches and trunk that are part of the base game. With this rotation option turned on, you can really create a very nice and natural vibe in your habitat with like barely any effort. Just find a good spot for them in your habitat in the angle like pretty much provided by the game with the rotation tool and you pretty much have like every corner in your habitat look unique. 
Like, do keep in mind, they might reduce your traversable area sometimes when using them because that could potentially be an issue, especially when playing like career or franchise mode. And I also, by the way, really like to lower like the bigger trunk into the ground to give like this extra touch to the habitat sometimes. But clearly, you can also use all these natural habitat branches for some really cool and natural looking climbing frames. And for the extra touch of realism, I really highly recommend using the rope pieces of the South America pack that we spoke about earlier in this video. But yeah, definitely some really useful pieces here provided in the base game so everyone can use them with the rotation option and just really eat your heart out when decorating your habitat. So at number two, you will find grass and flowers because not so long ago with the conservation pack, we got these beautiful grass and flower patches added to the game. And oh my, for these pieces, I would say you don't know what you're missing out on until you have them. And like, I like they give such a beautiful extra natural touch and look to your habitat. It's absolutely amazing. So whenever I can, I will always try to add the grass of this pack and some flowers here and there in my habitats because it just looks so freaking beautiful. Absolutely love these pieces. So who would have thought that number one would be the aquatic faux rocks, huh? <laughs> Clearly, for anyone watching my channel more often knows how I think about these rocks, I definitely think that these aquatic faux rocks from the aquatic pack are a must-have for anyone playing Planet Zoo because you can do so much with them. Now, not only do I like to use like the small aquatic rock patches a bit more sunken into the ground in pretty much every habitat that I create or as like part of like a bigger rock formation or on the backside of smaller habitats but also like the bigger aquatic rocks are just so useful for both decorating and shaping up your habitat but also like the edges and the walls of your habitat I feel like the possibilities are just endless with these rocks and they just match in every biome and theme you are creating because you can like recolor them in every color that you like I really would not want to miss out on these amazing aquatic rocks in my game anymore. I absolutely love them. So they definitely deserve to be on spot number one in my opinion. But yeah, as mentioned in the beginning of this video, this obviously is just my opinion of top 10 items that will make your habitats look better. But you maybe have a completely different opinion about that. And if you do, then please do let me know in the comments down below what your most favorite pieces are to decorate your habitats with. And as said, if you still need some packs for the game and want to grab any after seeing this video, make sure to check out Instant Gaming with the link in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section. And in general, I would love to hear your thoughts about this top 10 in the comments down below. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.